I said the enemy has failed. In your life, in your family, the enemy has failed. They try to stop you. They afflicted you. They challenged you. Even they try to kill you. But well, here you are. Here you are. He has given you victory. I will lift him my hand. she's coming to church she come to sit at the front amen and that woman she never go back she was she's looking for God I don't know why some people like sitting at the back in the church amen 2023 you are going forward 2023 front seat is your seat have you ever seen president sit at the back? I have changed your mentality. <laughs> Chairman of vocation, they never sit at the back. Where do they, where do they always sit? You will go forward. Yeah. I say you will go forward. Yeah. Amen. So uh, I'm going to share the word. Then from the word, I will take you prayer to the new year. Okay? Then when we get to the new year, we'll pray again. Then we'll close. By 12, 15 max, we have for this place. Amen? Amen? So that's how we cross over. Hallelujah. We cross over in what? In prayer. Intense prayer. Are you ready? There's something I noticed. In Australia recently, and I want us to tap that here. I've been here for 10 years, but I noticed that young people died a lot this year. As I was praying this morning in, my, in our estates, the Holy Spirit began to speak to me. And I want the Church of God to pray. Even today, Someone died. Today. 
Just call down my workmen. Uh, I am going to send a run to work. Somebody died this morning in our family. What? Mm -hmm. That's it. Between 30 to 40 people have just died. Especially in particular nationality. People just died. Devil is a liar. Affliction will not rise second time. That devil is a liar. I want the church of God to stand up. Our assignment is to take charge. I want us to pray. The Lord have mercy upon all the youths and the teenagers in Australia. Have mercy. Let's be the talk to God. That the Lord should have mercy. And all the men. That God should have mercy, especially from 40 down, that God should have mercy. Lord, we pray for mercy, O God. Upon all the men, all the women in this country. Now, let us begin to rebuke that spirit of death. That is taking the young men, young women, take the children. Suddenly, we rebuke in the name of Jesus in Australia. We will put the Bible in the name of Jesus. Yes, I will not tell you. Pata Kato Poseke de Dragara. Rimo Seke de Bo. We arrest death. We arrest the spirit of death. The name of Jesus. Seke de Bo. We take a glory to our death. Yes, I will not stand in death at all. There shall be no sudden death in the beach. There shall be no sudden death by our children and play, play. No more death, no more death. That yoke of death is destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, have mercy, Lord. Upon all the young men and the young women in Australia, especially from 40 down. Lord, we pray that that spirit of death that is snatching people, snatching people from their family, even snatching children, in the name of Jesus as a child, will you put in the name of Jesus? From tonight, 31st, no more premature death in Melbourne. No more premature death in Sydney. No more premature death in Australia. You damn witchcraft spirits that is killing them. I command the fire of the Holy Ghost. Consume you now. All our young men, they will leave. All our young women, they will leave. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Put your hands together for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God bless you, Lord. It is It is done. It is done. There shall be no loss again. Quickly, I want to give this announcement before I go into the word. Uh, by the grace of God, we'll be coming back to church this morning, I mean, tomorrow morning again. And well, we are going to start 11 o'clock. That will be our New Year Thanksgiving service. I want you to come back 11 o'clock. That's why we want you to rest so that we can come back. And I'll be teaching on the power of planning. Where's the flyer, please? As I'll be talking about all these things, you display the flyer. I'll be speaking on the power of what? Planning. And I'll be taking that for two Sundays. The first Sunday and the second Sunday. Please, I don't want you to miss it. Because God wants to Open your eyes to the principles of planning. Hallelujah.
So we start from tomorrow. And also from tomorrow, we are going to start, we are going to continue our fasting. So in Upper Room Assembly, every month, we do three days fasting and prayer for the new month. And it is called Online Breakthrough Prayer. It's three days. So, and we do that online. And it's just one hour. Where's the flyer, please? Everything is there. So, so for those of us that are in fasting, we need to continue till Wednesday. So that will be online 7 to 8. And the prayer that we will be praying for tomorrow night is prayer of mercy. That's what we this month of start this year. Prayer of mercy. God will show mercy on you in Jesus' name. Um, lastly, we want to thank God for all. For what the Lord has done so far about this church. Are you excited? We are upgrading every day about the church. We thank God for everything. But there are some few things that we still need to put in place. And I told us on Sunday that the estimate of what we need is about 20 grand. Amen? Don't be afraid. <laughs> Don't be afraid. You are going to be some of you are going to be hit million in 2023. Yeah. You don't believe it? Believe it. Believe it. Amen. How God will do it, you will be surprised. Not million naira or not million sepa. What do you spend in your country? Not million kina. Millions dollars. I'll be number one. I'll be number one. God is going to do it. So we need monitor, monitor, we need some things here. We need new mics. We need a um, camera so that if I move around, there's another camera. That one is around 3,005. Uh, the projector is set to. So please, as I'm talking about the donation, can you please display the flyer? When I talk about something in this place that people can be able to see. So whatsoever that God is laying in your heart to support, you can see the left in there. Just speak one and do something so that you can be a part of the blessing. We want to show up. God is going to build his house. So as you sow that seed, the Lord will bless us all in Jesus' name. I said, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we want to go into the world and go into the prayer. To prayer for the new year. We have about 35 minutes to cross over. Are you ready to cross over? Is your year. 2023 is your year. I said it's your year. Amen. Bro, you said you listed prayer points for last year. This year will be great. The next year will be greater. I said the next year will be greater. Amen. In the name of Jesus. By this time next year, your level will have changed. I said, by this time next year, your left will have changed for better in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you once again. Spirit of God, speak to us. The Bible said, the entrance of your Lord brings light and bring understanding for the simple. Lord, take over me now and speak to your children. And let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name, I pray. Tonight I'll be speaking briefly. Night of new beginning. Night of new.
new beginning. But please, I want you to be sensitive because tonight is a prophetic night. So some prophetic will be coming from the word of God and from the Lord. So I want you to grab this. And as you grab them, they will work for you in the name of Jesus. And I said, as you grab them, your destiny will change for better in the name of Jesus. Please turn your Bible to the book of Revelation chapter 21 verse 5. Revelation 21 verse 5. Then he who sat on the cross said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write for this word are true and fruitful. He said to us, Behold, I will make all things new. Your new life has started. I said your new life has started. Your new you is emerged. In the name of Jesus. People of God, there's always a night in a man's life. There's always a night in a man's life. And in most cases, during those nights, Bad things happen to some people. During the night, good things happen to some people also. Some of you, you know, sometimes people will sleep. They will say good night. But the following day, they will not be able to say good morning. They will have passed. So, so some people, they will sleep and when they wake up and go out and their destiny will change. And that is what is going to happen to you. Tonight is your night. I said tonight is your night. Your destiny is going to change for better. In the name of Jesus, how do I know that? According to Psalm 30, verse 5. Psalm 30, verse 5 says, For his anger, but for a moment, his favor is for life. We be made pure for a night, but joy come in the morning. Hallelujah. He said, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In 2023, your joy will come. As we are crossing over to 2023, it's going with your sorrow. It's going with your sickness. It's going with your disease. It's going with your depression. It's going with your failure. It's going with your frustration. In the name of Jesus. He said, weeping may endure for a night. Kabbalah, lepo sikata. That problem in your life expire today. He said, weeping may endure for a night. That sickness, that affliction is not going with you for 2023. In the name of Jesus. That disappointment is not going to be due to 2023. He said, we be made there for a night. That means every problem has expiring needs. Hallelujah. We be made what? And there for a night. Ah! Spiritual parts in your life that you are facing. That mountain that is challenging your life. Tonight 
is coming down. Tonight, they will help you. In the name of Jesus. Because we will be in your presence. By tomorrow morning, your joy has come. We come. By 2023, your joy will come in the name of Jesus. So what does it mean? To what, what, what is the meaning of the new beginning? We are talking about new beginning. What does it mean to have a new beginning? Number one, it means that God is giving you, is giving you a fresh start over your predicaments. Hallelujah. New beginning means God is giving you a fresh start over your predicaments, over the battles of life. So there's somebody listening to me now. As you are going to 2023, God is giving you a fresh start. And that is why, please, make sure you pray when we are about to cross over. Make sure when we are praising God, praise God. Because God is giving you a fresh start. He's giving you a fresh start over your disappointment. He gives you a fresh start over your frustration, over joblessness, over failure, over delay. That is a new beginning. And please, as you are crossing over, as you are going to be 2023, walk in that mentality of a fresh start. Don't carry over. Don't carry it over. Tell someone, don't carry it over. Drop it at the feet of Jesus. Tell someone, don't carry it over. Drop it at the feet of Jesus. Because he's giving you a fresh start. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. In 2 Corinthians 5 17, 2 Corinthians 5 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things has passed away. Behold, all things has become new. A fresh start. A fresh start. Let me tell you something about God. God delights in doing new things. He delights in the people that trust Him. And I know you trust Him. Hallelujah. Number two, what do we mean by a new beginning? It will be, it will be a chance to, to pick up where you left off in one season of life to start at a more advanced level in another season of life. I will come again. It will be also be a chance to pick up where you left off in one season of in one season of, of life. In one season of life to start at more advanced level in another season of life. This was to start in another advanced level. And that is why, please, in 2023, don't look down on yourself. Because you are bigger than who you are. Tell yourself, I'm bigger than the level that I am. So, new beginning means God is taking you to another season. How many of you, I don't watch movie before, I used to watch movie. You know all those movies that you only sit for 24 hours in movie? Some of us are professional movie watchers. Season one, season two, you know the way they do it? Yeah. So, a new beginning means God is giving you a new season. Somebody's not catching it. I said, 
God is giving you a new season. A new season of greatness. A new season of success. A new season of breakthrough. Season of marriages. Fruit of the world. Provision of protection in the name of Jesus. And God give you a new season to be the CEO of yourself. To be the manager of your own company. Because let me tell you something. All this catching up shit, catching up job, back to back. You can't become a millionaire with it. Okay? You can only become a millionaire by doing business. Hello? Go and do research. How many best, how many salary men are in the millionaire? Eh? <laughs> he said no. You can only become a millionaire by what? Business. God will give you business idea. Yeah. In 2023, you will be at the prayer of heaven. In the name of Jesus. Of common ideas that will change your life. That will change your bank accounts. That will change your finance. It's coming upon you now. In the name of Jesus. And that is why I want to teach you on planning. Because you have to plan for this. You have to have a goal. Then from there, you can have that transition. It doesn't happen automatic like that. But you need to plan. Hallelujah. Number three. What do we mean by a new beginning? It means forgetting your past. So 
forget about the past. Because God is rebuilding your life. Focus on your future in 2023. When they want to be telling you about your past, excuse them. Because when they talk about it, they try to refresh your memory. And as they are talking about it, you will not be able to concentrate. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. And devil knows how to work on our mind to people. Hello? Devil knows how to do what? To work on our mind to people. So those people that want to be talking to you about your past, avoid them. Even though you want to be like me, delete their number. Walk them. So that they don't distract you. Amen? It's not bad. It's not bad. Anything that wants to distract you, from your goals, from your future, from your plan, from your destiny. You can delete it. It's nothing bad. It's not bad. But don't delete your mother. Don't delete your father. Because some people, they said they deleted their mother, they deleted their father. You are bringing cause in your life. The Bible says, honor thy father and thy mother. So that shall be well with you. But you can delete your friend. There are some friends that are some friendly friends. They adore your friend because of what they are getting from you. And some of those things that you call your friend, they are your enemies. They are the one killing you at the back. Every enemies! Every unfriendly friend that is pretending to you, God will expose them in 2023. I say, God will expose them in 2023. But some of you don't know. You say, it's my best friend. And he's the one killing you. Australia, in the country of your beds, the fire will consume them. All the unfriendly friends, all the household enemies, fire and God will consume them. In the name of Jesus, listen to this. A new beginning gives you freedom to make choices for yourself. And to know your wants once again. I will come again. New beginnings gives you freedom to make choices for yourself. And to know your wants once again. There are some of us. People are beating us off. People are saying she cannot succeed. She cannot marry again. She cannot have a husband. But in the season of the new beginning, make you to have a focus and to make a good choice. Hallelujah. When God gives you a new beginning, when you encounter the God of the new beginning, He makes it to you what? To make a right In the name of Jesus, God step into your life now. And in 2023, you will make right choices. In marriage, you make right choices. In business, you make right choices. In career, you make right choices. In the name of Jesus. Because some people, the reason, the problem they are passing through today is because of wrong choice. But the Spirit of the Lord will guide you to make right choices in 2023 in the name of Jesus. So quickly, how do we receive new beginning and be in the center of the will of God for our life in 2023? How do we receive new beginning and be in the center of God for our life in 2023. Number one, you must be born again and continue in it. For you to have a new beginning, you must be what? Born again and continue in it. Because there are some people they say they are born again. But 
when they go out of the church, they take their life in them. Being born again is a continuous exercise. So if you want to experience new beginning, you must be born again and continue in it. According to the book of John chapter 3 verse 3. John chapter 3 verse 3. Jesus answered and said to him, Moses, surely I say unto you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So for you to experience new beginning from the Lord, must be genuinely born again and continue in it. Not continue as an usher. Not continue as a preacher. Not continue as a choir. Not continue as a church choir. But continue in Christ. Because there are some people that say they are born again. Only they are doing, they believe because of their activities. They are doing the church. Because they are born again. I was asking somebody one question. Hey, oh God. The person does not know that I've been around in this job for some times. I said, How is your spiritual life? The person said, I'm fasting now. I'm fasting for the new year. Is that your life? Oh, they are able to fast. Don't you know? Of course, people they fast for power. When they want to promote you in the kingdom of darkness, you fast. So is is the person thought that is talking to ignorance because you say you are fasting? Does that mean that you are spiritual? Doctor can tell you to fast before you come and take any, before you come and take your test. Hello, somebody. I the spiritual life. What will you tell them? They ask. Fine. And my relationship with Christ is strong. Not that I'm fasting. You know, some people they use religious words to deceive you. My wife always tells me, say, Pastor, you know that these people they will tell you what you want to hear. And you know, people they know what to tell Pastor Lopez. But I can never shake you. They will be greeting you from blah 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 blah. So that the pastor will think they are spiritual. Shout hallelujah. Yeah. In the church. So the person, I know that that person is Kana. That's why I ask the person, I feel spiritual life. He said, I'm fasting. Does that make you to be spiritual? Even the devil. The devil, that's why I pity some Christians that cannot even fast. The demonic people now, they are fasting now because they want to cross over to, to get another power. But some of you, you don't need to fast for three days. If I say, you have been fasting for three days, you will be disappointed. God will strengthen you. I said, God will strengthen you and give you grace. So you must be born again and continue in it. Be in the spirit. Have full relationship with Christ. That is the meaning of being born again. Not coming to church. Not because your name is Jackson. Because some people say, because their name is Jackson. That is why you are born. You are not. You must accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your pastor. Number two. By living a life of daily obedience to God. If you want to have a new beginning, you must live a life of God. Daily obedience to who? To God. So many of us, the reason why we are not blessed is because we are disobeying God. And God is a God of principles and order. God is what? He's a God of principles and what? And order. Let me tell you, sometimes God is not a father of Christmas. If he tells you to do something and you don't do it, and you say, God, give me, you back. So as we are going to 2023, determine to obey God. Tell somebody, as we are going to 2023, Look at what the Bible 
Bible says is 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 22. 1 Samuel chapter 2, 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 22. So Samuel said, As the Lord had great delight in verse offering and sacrifice, as he obeyed the voice of the Lord, behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to heal than the fat of rams. What God requires from you is what? Obedience, not sacrifice. And the choir, and the prayer department. And you are living disobedience. The prayer cannot be answered. You are just wasting your time. You know, I'm a person that very good. I will tell you. You are just wasting your time. Even your fasting will not be accepted. Because even if you don't fast, if you don't pray, and you are living a life of obedience, your prayer will be answered expressly. Because that's what God requires. You know what Samuel told So He was, he told, he said, God, that's how some of you, you say you are trying to bribe God with your service, with your money, with your tithes. You are trying to bribe God. And you are living in sin. God will just say no. That is what Saul did. He said he left the fat rams. Someone was looking at you. No prophet, they will just look at you. When you finish your drama, then I will prophesy. I will tell you the mind of God. He said, I left the fat rams so that we can use it to sacrifice God. Sacrifice for God. So the living God is God is hungry. God said, if I were hungry, the cattle in a thousand years, they must do it. If I were hungry, I would go and kill them. But what I want you to do, so is to kill all of them. For he said, I left the fat rams. God, I brought the tithes of the money that I stole to the church. Hey, okay. That's how we use it to do the church. I'm not accepting it. Hello? Yes, that's why we use it to pray to do church. But God is not accepting it. That is what Saul was doing. Prophet now told him, eh, you finish. Someone said dramas. Someone said dramas. God has said to obey is better than sacrifice. Shout hallelujah. So for you to experience new beginning, you must live a life of obedience. Total obedience to God. Daily in 2023. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Number three. By forgiving and loving people unconditionally. You want to experience new beginning? You must forgive people and love people. Pastor, what they did for me hurt me. They told a lie against me. They cheated me. I gave them money. I borrowed their money. When I want to collect my money, they turn into fights. <laughs> That's why I don't like money. I would rather dash you. Because when the day you want to collect your money, they now turn into fights. I mean, I want to know what I'm talking about. You know, say, ah, then, then, then. Eh, eh, is it not? Is it not five thousand dollars? Eh, is it not five thousand dollars? But when you have, when you need that money, you are kneeling down, you are begging me. But now that I want to collect my money, you turn into fight. God will judge them. I said, God will judge them. Our faithful people, for you to be wise, don't borrow people for the day. That is the wisdom. Oh, she come to you, borrow me five thousand. Oh, pardon me, six thousand. Ah, oh, sorry. The only thing I can fix for you is to give you five dollars, five hundred dollars. God will provide. You have done your part to avoid what? Fight. Shout hallelujah. And you know, in Australia, no place that they can collect debt you can get. No debt you can get. <laughs> so if you do that, you do have it. You have met your mental voice. Police will just say it's a civilian case. Go and say it. <laughs> Police will say it's a civilian case. Go and say it. You will not enter into office in 2023. 
It will not be a lot of people in 2023. What am I trying to say? Forgive people and love them. Do you know why you need to forgive? So that your prayer will not be hindered. So that your prayer will not be what? Hindered. Let your mind be clean. Just sleep there. That is why before the evil, step on your toes, avoid them. Delete them so that they don't come to you. And if by the way they come to you, they come around you and they offend you, you don't have choice. You need to forgive. That's what I You don't have choice. You need to forgive. Because Jesus forgives you. Hallelujah. Number four. Where to have a new beginning by constant fellowship with God and brethren. If you want to have a new, a new beginning, in 2023, don't miss church. Number one, your personal fellowship with God. Prayer, the word of God, fasting is very important. Then number two, fellowship with the brethren. Because the Bible says, as they appear in Zion, Zion means church. As they appear in Zion, they go from strength to strength. The reason why so many people are weak today is because they don't come to church. See, when we come together, there is fire. This sister, she's anointed. There's anointing upon her life. See, she's anointed. So when we come together like this, anointing means anointing. That is what happens. So what's the power? Oh, pastor, I pray in my house. Yes, I pray in my house also. But I come to church. Because the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25, they say we should not forsake the garden of the saints. The Bible says, iron shall and iron. So we need to come to church so that we shall one another. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Are you ready to cross over? Lastly, to have a new beginning, be humble and reject pride. You want to have a new beginning? You need to be humble. No matter your qualification, no matter the grammar, points grammar that you are speaking, still humble. Because the Bible says, God is still proud and give praise to you. Shout hallelujah. So these are the steps that we need to take to have a new beginning. In conclusion, God is ready to give us a new beginning. But our total obedience will determine it. God is ready to give you an eye, a new beginning for our what? Our total obedience will determine it. It is my prayer that God will give us the grace to obey Jesus. Are you ready to cross it right now? Are you ready for a new beginning? Shall we rise? For that person that is here and I'm not giving you your speech, I'll have to cry, I want to give you an opportunity. If you are here, you're not giving you a lot of price. This is an opportunity. You are there, say, Lord Jesus. Or you are watching me online, say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me of all my sins. Wash me your blood and make it to be your child. And I will serve you for the rest of my life. Or you are a pastor and I say, Lord Jesus, I come for you like the prodigal son. Forgive me. Make me to be your child, and I will serve you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray for those that have given their life for you, and those particular that from today, the grace to follow you. Give it to them in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen! Amen. Now, as we are going to 2022, I want us to use this prayer, this time to pray, so that God will purchase first. Then when he purchase, new thing will enter into our life. Psalm 51, verse 7. Psalm 51 verse 7. He said, Fold me with absolute, and I shall be clean. Wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. You are meant to pray. You are meant to try to get it to now. Say, Father, by your blood, purge me of every dirtiness in my life that want to hinder my new beginning. Pray in the name of Jesus. Father, put me over tonight. Put me as a person over. Put me. Put me 
says, the blessings of the Lord make her rich and had her to sow with Ah! 2022. Because 2022 has come with your sorrow. I know what I'm talking about. 2022 has come with your sorrow. Has come with your sickness. Sorry, I want to sing one African song. It's very popular. Bye bye, no jati jati.
We may endure for a night. Come on, Alex. We may endure for a night. This morning, on the 4th of January, 2023, your job done it. Your job done it. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Jesus.